So what we are going to do now is also going to give you a kind of more insight to what went on the background of whatever that you are trying to update or you are trying to work with. So before you can have a kind of premium website, you need to get a domain and instinct. Yeah, domain and instinct. And you can get that from any hosting company, any. Yes. So before now, we've already gotten the domain and hosting from software.com.ng. So this is building a blog from start to finish. Let's see how we can do the next one and a half hours or two hours. So when you get to any of the websites, so you know that you need to get the domain and hosting. So if you go to domain or hosting, anyone, so just like just like the registration methods. So you just choose any plan you want, local, international, anywhere. When you choose any plan you want, for example, type the name, just check whether it's available, spend extension. So once it's available, you proceed to check out. For example, now if I say let's see if there's anything like this. They say it's available and you see it's the other extension I value too. And uh, if you continue, then select the plan. So we continue. Just follow the process. Immediately if we check out what will happen is just fill your information here. After you fill your information and you are done with the payment like completing it, you are going to receive a username and password to control panel. It's from control panel that you are going to set up uh WordPress. I just felt it's necessary to to go to, uh, to, to make you guys go through this. So after you have username of C panel, you can also check where your web hosting is on. So if you have something like some, you just see a blank some, you have something like this. You want to confirm if your domain has been successfully registered, just copy your domain name. Uh, you can check it from who is who is dot com Annie. Okay, what is standing in it? Onye, uh -huh. Onye dot com. You go to onye dot com. <laughs> so when you get to onye dot com, put that domain there. You will see this is the domain. This is the server software dot com dot ng and so on and so on. This is the day that was being registered. This domain was registered on sixteenth of this mail. It's going to expire sixteenth of next year, right? So this is the person that owns it. If you are degree, this is us. Don't just say all the contacts. So this is how to confirm that a domain. Uh, so the price for domain and hosting depend on the plan that you want. But like I can tell you, the, the cheapest domain and hosting, the cheapest so far, if it's dot com is much uh, dot com dot is cheaper. So the cheapest for dot com dot is about eighteen thousand. Here about. Dot com is about twenty nine thousand, I guess there about. So the extension that you are going to use to determine what you are about to do. Okay, dot com is more expensive than dot ng. It's more expensive than even dot co dot uk, even dot us. It's more expensive. Like I show you guys how cheap uh, dot us was the other time. So it, whatever you are going to pay is actually depend on extension. They also depend on the hosting company. So hosting companies also have various prices. I'm answering. Are they among me? Are they in questions from the chat? So, after you've confirmed this, so it simply means that, yeah, your domain is already pointed to server and it's good to go. So, once it's good to go, it's blank. So, these are like front end. We are looking at building something similar to this, okay? So, these are front end, nothing, but this is where we're going to put everything. So, what we need to do is we need to go to the C panel given to us by the hosting company. Right, go to cPanel, give it to us by the opening company. And what we are going to do, we we'll log in there. So, and I remember I told you guys how to log into cPanel the name of your domain slash cPanel. Okay, the name of your domain slash cPanel. 
So when you get to the name of your domain, the slash name, it's going to request you to enter username and password. So what you want to go and do? You want to go and install WordPress number one content management system in the entire world, no rival. As I just now, anything can happen tomorrow. In the last 10, 15 years, it's gonna be on the top. Yeah. So number one, the most popular, the most sought after. So, but we are not using free. They are free. You can install free blog from. If anybody that have Jimmy can have a blogger dot com. Ah, uh, sorry, blogspots. Blogspots. Okay, that is blogger. So it's like saying, I click here. Let me check. So, for anybody that is using Gmail, so this is free blog from Google. So it's going to be like, uh whatever name that you choose, slash blogger.com, okay? But that's not what I'm saying. There's also wordpress.com. You can also have free there, but it has limits. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, limits. Again, I only tell people free is expensive. Yeah, but it's just a way to start. We can also open a free year, but we are not using, using any one of these. We buy our own customized domain name, which is Yolai help ambassador's competency and uh, we want to install, we want to install our own. Yeah. So uh why I'm mentioning user ambassador, which is going to be given to me by the hosting company. I'm going to pause my screen. Uh you just hear my voice, but you will not be able to see what I'm typing. So when I'm done with that, I will let you know the next step. So now um Logging in with username and the password given by the hosting company. So I have it now. So I'm logging in now. So I can zoom sharing right now. So once you log in, this is what you're going to have. Once you log once in. Log in. Must, must. So once so you once log in. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to meet everybody and such a way that you cannot meet yourself. You can only signify by chat, raising up of hand if you have anything. So I've admit, admitted everybody and you can't unmute yourself as at this time. So let's get back to it. So now, so when you log into CPANEL, you have too many things. So you want like things like you want to customize email on your website, this is where you do that. If you want to do mail forwarding, for example, any email that drop on this email, maybe it's not an email that you check regularly, and you want it to be having a copy on your Gmail, this is where you do that. Autoresponder, a lot of things, but that's not what we are for. So let's just, if you're having issue with delivery with your email, you do stuff like that. So these are just some web server management generally. That's not our focus, so I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah. So once you log into the cPanel here, where you are going to, to install, Okay, to install WordPress is, we are installing WordPress on this. We are seeing this error 404 like this because there's no installation, everything is empty, basically. If I just do ordinary HTML and drop it now, this guy will be clear off. So immediately we finish our installation, it's going to be clear off. So it depends on the web hosting. Uh, some when the web hosting panel, when you get here, you see WordPress like this. Some, you just see, softaculous, yes, some, you see some backlog uh, app installer. So like this now, WordPress is inside this one. WordPress is inside this one. So anyone that you see, doesn't matter. So you can see some in grid or in lists like this. So just look for under the software section, see WordPress. So I can install this from here, or I can also install it from here. I'm just saying this irrespective of any hosting company that you use, okay? So I'm going to install WordPress now. So after I click this now, and I'm also going to be doing a kind of sequence installation. So you get to know what I mean by sequence installation. So after this now, there's no WordPress installation because it's actually fresh. So I'm going to click install. So when I click install here, so you can have a subdomain just like I have uk.genedianulife.com, whatever, right? So that's, those are subdomain. But this one, we want to install it on the main domain. So if it's subdomain, I will enter the name of subdomain here. If it does something slash something, I'll put it here, that direction. Okay, this is the current latest version of WordPress. And one good thing about WordPress is every time there's a new update, it will automatically update for you. So you don't even need to be thinking of, oh, 
my WordPress is not there. Good. Okay. Install HTTPS. Very important. Yeah. And I said we're going to do some SQL installation. SQL installation is sense that there's some default store when it comes to database or this installation. There's some default things that will say you should not use this default. So that when WordPress is going through, because content management systems are prone to challenge for acting, right? And most times, people that are victims are people that are using the default name. So for example, username for most WordPress websites is admin as a default. Name. So we are not going to be using admin. And I my post as at that time. So I'm going to change this. I'm not going to use it. These are the default passwords. Like basically like this. I can just say install and it's done. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change a lot of things. So what I think I'm going to change, I'm changing the username from admin to something else. I'm changing the password from whatever we have here to something else. Uh so we can just name our blog. So let me just all these things are subjected to rename, but I can just call it. But for the love of SEO, I'll just say new life product and business. Let me just call new life product for now. All this, we can actually rename it at the end of the day. All this solution, can rename it, okay? New life product, big tree. Button. Okay? Uh, we can rename all this. So one of the important aspects when we talk about security, I'm going to change this, but I'm not going to change it for security reason why you are looking at my screen. Then admin is also uh, a default email address. So I'm also not going to use this. Yeah. Then again, the default database previous. So there's a database. So default database previous is WP737. Uh, so we're not going to use this. So that when hackers want to hack some WordPress website, it's just send what they call SQL injection to anything that started with WP. So we're not going to use this so that uh, the blood of the lamb shall be the pass of our this website. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> so there will, there will be pass of our, when the hacking are doing, the hackers are doing that stuff. So when I said secure installation, these are security issues. So default data table previous is also WPPE. We are not going to use that. So I'm going to change all this, but while I'm changing it, just be hearing my voice at the other side because again, for security, that's what I said. I go to do some SQL installation. It's not everybody that does SQL installation when it's going to WordPress. People do, do you know, I can just come here and, and I click install and we are done. But we have installed on a very dangerous mode that one simple thing happen like this thousands of websites are being hacked on a daily basis. Okay. I don't trust anyone of them. There's no Mr. She don't trust of them. I'm not, I, I do not trust you. Yeah. Not even that I do not trust you. You know, I'm recording the video and I can post this anywhere. And anybody can lay hand on the link. You know what that means now? Hmm? So it simply means they can hijack. Do you get that? Now? And you know how many thousands of websites are being added? Maybe I should get rid of them. What's the name of Internet stats. <clears throat> so that you understand what I'm talking about. Internet uh stats, web stats, something like that. Internet web stats. You see how many words that have been up today alone. So you understand better. So secure installation, it's very, very important. Okay. Uh you see this now. I think you have it here. So internet life stats here. You see here now, this is our single D. You see, I think you see, you see how many websites are being up today, how many photo people have uploaded on Instagram. Why is this true? How many photo people have uploaded on Instagram today? You see on all this, this is so this website is still restricting data. You see, where is the app itself? Act. Okay, guys, how many websites are being up today? You see all that. Okay. Let me see. All on this page is one by one. So you see that. So you see that. And I don't want this website to be part of uh, statistics. Basically, on that website, internet website, I don't know why it's different time. Or maybe they have migrated it. 
So that's just now. So at this time, you just be hearing my voice while I'm doing all those due diligence. Okay, you only be hearing my voice while I'm doing all that due diligence. So I'm trying to change everything that I've explained to you guys. I'm doing that ranging from the email. I'm not using any default. Changing from the password, uh, username. Okay. Uh, username to the password. I'm changing every damn thing. So when when installations commence, I will open it up for you guys. Change it for database previous. I'm changing everything. Okay. Uh. Okay, now I'm done with all that. So I click store. So immediately I click store. The installation process has started now. Okay, you can see. So once the installation process finish, uh, we log into the WordPress and we'll start building. So installation process has started. These are easy to actually set up the WordPress website blog. There's nothing, there's no kind of website that you cannot use WordPress, WordPress to use. Nothing. That website is not available to this one. There's nothing you cannot do with WordPress. Just take it like that. Nothing. It might now require you to put in some um some external plugins. Some external codes there about, but there's nothing I cannot do. So, so when you are done, so when you are going to receive this congratulation message, and pro probably again, you must still have the same thing on the same email that you drop when I do install it. So, this is our front end website, and this is to log into your back office where you are going to be doing all the major work. So new health embassy so for example you know this guy that i've been reading forbidden right basically because there's nothing there so if i refresh this now uh can see that it's off mm -hmm. because there's an installation now. there's something there okay so now so now that we have this now we don't want this is not what we want inside our website this is not what we want inside our website uh, but wordpress is saying they are committed to innovation and sustainability, yeah. So they are trying to advertise themselves. <laughs> so here, so here now, to log into the back office of any WordPress website, the domain name forward slash WP slash me. So for this now, because I'm seeing now, I can just click this. Because I just finished installation, it's automatically going to log me. Yeah, you see no design and password. Or else you type that and you describe the user and password that you choose during the installation. So at this point, bye bye to Cpane. We are done. So we are back. To this. So this is WordPress backend. This is front end. We are not going to be using this team. So there's a thing we are going to. You know, I said we are going to be building something similar to this, right? The name of the team that are being used for this website is called Ample Blog. Ample Blog. So I'm going to check if that team is still available. There's several teams. If that team is still available on WordPress platform. So it's available, that's what I'm going to do first. So I'll go to appearance, and if I want to install new team, appearance, I'll go to the team, right? And check if that team is still available. Very simple to trade for what team. So these are some default team. This one already there. We can delete all these ones, but we want a new team. So what is the name of the team? So I can search. So you see thousands of free premium. However, the Apple team is actually I see a lot of things there. Some are paid, some are free. There are a whole lot of. Like I told you, there's nothing you cannot do. It's WordPress. Can see online shopping, different kind of things that you might need here. But our focus, we can search for the team you are looking for. You don't see any one of these ones. So if I say, I'm full. Blog. Like I said, if it is see available, I don't know. Okay. Luckily, that team is still available. This is the guy here, okay, that I want to use. So I'll just click install. You can use anything, but for the purpose of this uh, training, that's what I'm going to use. So I'll finish install, just a click. 
Then I'll need to activate it. Activate it so that it overwrites what we have here currently. So I'll just click activate. So by the time I click it and I activate it, the next thing is I can refresh to see if the thing that I just changed to give it is effective. So there we go. We have it now. The layout is ready. So looking at what we said we are looking for similar. We said, see, this is type two here, but this one also has a type two already, which I said is subjected to change, right? So like So this place that we have, contact me, phone number. So how do we change the same phone number here? So I'll keep do that right now instead of this. Like I told you guys that both of these guys are subjected to change. This is like a type two. Mm -hmm. of the website this is like subtitle so how do we do that so we go to uh it can be changed anytime yes because you might want to say that so what we need to do is this let me have the phone number phone number on our side. thank you yeah so here now i'm actually i told you that i don't do anything for fun i'm building this for somebody just beside me right now i don't do anything for fun it's not making sense i'm not ready yeah so here now, but I'm using the opportunity to teach you guys to how to do that. And that's for your say, uh, we are using one stone to keep two bells, right? I'm building, I'm also teaching at the same time. You get the point, okay? So here now, we'll come to setting, then general, that's where we are going to see how we can actually edit that, okay? Settings. General okay. So now that I've got to settings and general, uh, I'll put this number on international commands. So this is general. So I told you this title. So if I want to add anything to this, I can stop. Okay. New life. So let's say I want to make that new life product and business, maybe. So it's going to change anything that I have there. So this now taglines like subtitles. I want the phone number there so I can say contacts. Me on this okay so so that's that and we're done with that i will save this once i save that change and i refresh this guy it's going to change whatever they are about. So see that now yeah so everything here is subjected to change so now we have a one free sample plug here we don't need this blog yeah uh i don't need it we have also a sample page we don't need this page but we can actually edit it so I can decide to create pages now. Let's say I need stuff like this, home, about, like this, like this, like this. All this around. These are called menus, right? So if I want all these menus, simply means I'll go to page as name implies. We need page. So we need to go to page. You can see that it's very simple. This is sample pages that we have here. I don't need this privacy, whatever. So I can trash this guy out for now. But what's trash, you still have it so you can bring it back. So nothing to worry about. So here now. On samples, that's the existing current page that is there. And my cell, I don't want it. Or I can start to change the name of the sample to maybe what's it? I can start to change it to home. Yeah. And come and edit whatever that is here. So instead of sample, I can edit it and say home. And or automatically remove it. So it's not so important like that. Depending on the kind of things that I want. So if I refresh this now, it's kind of changed. Can I see that now? So that's how far we are done. So let's just say about your life. So again, before you started working on the website, you should have what you want to build in mind. This is very easy right now because I've already have what I want to build in mind, right? So we are having something similar like this. So I need a, the next, I need the next menu and which is about new life, okay? Um, can't talk right now, okay? Which is about new life. So I'm going to click about new life page now. So it's still on that same page. Um, come here, we we'll click this WordPress icon, okay? Let me put my phone on silent. Then I say new page. So this way I'm going to be creating as many as much possible pages that you want, basically. And that's how easy to do it as many as possible. So when I say about your life, and I'm not just saying about your life. Remember that name is a keyword now. So I need to mention it. So if you are selling 
if you are into swimming pool construction, about swimming pool construction. Excuse me. Um, so we have this now. <clears throat> okay, our first page. Then, uh, if I need another page, okay, let me just show you first so that you see that. Right here. See that? But it's not arranged, so we are going to rearrange it. Don't worry yourself. Let's just create all the pages first. So now another one I have uh, your live registration. Yes. So I'll come back, click this to come back again. I'm expecting WordPress to do better with this instead of going back and forth. Just put next link, next link. I know this for the UI department. So new live registration, so I'm just a new live. Registration. Oh, that's correct. Registration. Okay. So I just said I wish you have that next add another one here, but okay. So that's what again, what we have uh shop now. Okay. Shop now. Or oh, buy new life products. I even decided to do that. Why am I going to use shop now? That's that not too good. Buy new life products. Mm -hmm. So, what is that? I think this is why I see your friend did that shop now. Buy and this is too big. Okay. Um, what do I have again? The next thing that I have here is okay, there was going to be like blog session, so I can just say blog. Okay, blog session. So every blog post is going to be on that blog session. So I can say blog, and I can call it your live blog. And uh, the contacts are already on the page, but you don't want to assume that everybody sees those contacts. Yeah, you don't want to assume to have that. So you can see how the contacts, that is if you want your contact to be on the page. I guess I decided to, there because based on my data, I still have a lot of Nigeria checking this particular website than every other. So, and people want. You didn't have branch in Maduguri, yes. So check the contacts. No worries. Okay. So if I refresh this now, can see we have everything, but this is not the order that I want. So I'm going to rearrange. So anytime I want to rearrange stuff like this, what I'm going to do. Go back by clicking the WordPress logo to take us to the dashboard. And under appearance, all those guys are called menu or navigation. So go to appearance, then menus. Then I will now readjust, arrange as I want. So but before I do that, I will need to create a menu here. Because nothing here. Can you see? Give your menu a name. Can I give it any name? So I can call this menu enjoy. Any name. I can call this menu too. Anything, right? Most time I give you menu, but I just decided to put it on So all the menus that I want here, I can add it. So these are the pages that we have created. So I can say, okay, select everything that I've created, add it. So it's going to put it here. Now I can already adjust it. So I want home to be on the first page here. Uh, okay, a step backward, out on that one part, okay? So you can click, hold, drag it up. You can hold this, drag it down. Okay. I think they want me to be using their manual stuff. So I have this. I want the uh, about to be up. Why am I unable to drag? It's actually dragging. So. Have this now. Um, what do I want next? Registration. Okay. So dragging is I hold it down and I drag it up. I want Google to come before every other thing to so, uh get out of here. Uh up more places. So I have this now. So I want to come back to the last one. Yeah. So, and I will save this menu. 
and I want to automatically be on the top level. Yeah, save this menu now. So I just ran it now. So when I refresh, everything will fall in places. So anytime you want to arrange your menu, does it? So if it's not falling in places, so then it's not saved well. Or I need to clear the cache. So I have here now. Uh, what's that? Oh, primary. No man. So I have this menu now. The name of that menu is employee. That's it. See that now? So it wasn't sure because I didn't make it primary menu. So this is like my name. So do we, do we get that now? So now I'm going to select any time. What do I want to be my first page? I want that one to be my blog page. So that when anybody did, so with what press you can decide the page that I want to be first. It's not never whatever that you want. So if I want that, so I want like this about, in the case of this one, I think my first page is, this is actually like an about, sorry, home. Yeah. So this home, which is my first page, This form, which is my first page here, where I need to put a lot of things here. So how do I want to do that? I'll go to settings, reading. Settings, reading. Okay? And settings, reading here. So this is where I'm going to decide which page is false and which page is blocked. So home page and block. So I'll come to here and I'll say select statics. Because we already created all the page. So if I don't have the page, I can't do it. So I'll come in and say, okay, I want my own page to be the home page. And I want my post to be close. Okay. And I will save it. All right. Uh Am I the only one not hearing? Is everybody? I thought you guys knew it's like some minutes. Yeah. So I'm back. So let's continue from where we stopped. Okay. Oh, shit. It's okay. So this is how far we have gone. So we have, had, we have our menu, right? So that we have done almost. So if you want to change. Let's say you don't want this uh, orange color. You can still do all that on that appearance. So if you want to post our blog post, post blog, you guys know by now that is post blog. You want to upload some media, video image, you know that it's here by now. Because I did some stuff like that the other day. So if I go to uh, custom, right? Customize still on that appearance. I see that appearance is good for foundation for all this stuff. So let's say this is not the brand guy, it's not the brand color. So I can do all that from here. So if I say color, so let's say I want to change this to something like this. I just look at it, maybe something like this. So that's how you can do all that. Okay. And now that we have the blog set up. The next thing is just to start putting content. You can see how easy. Because now we have the menu already. So we have the menu already. I'm going to delete this space. I mean, that's free uh, post here. So we have the menu. We have uh, what do you call it? So the only thing that is lagging on this one is content. That's the best thing to do. Then again, there is no sub menu, right? It's a sub menu, right? So sometimes you might want sub menu under here. You might want sub menu under here, right? So anytime you need sub menu, let's say I want to do some menu for like new like registration. So anything menu, still come to that menu under 
appearance, right? So let's say I want to just do, I can't do all the menu. So for the menu, especially that is going outside, external link, that's what I mean by outside. I mean something like this. It's external link. So for example, like Amer North America, and I click this now. So this is external link. So you don't need to create page for something that is going external. Did you get that? Because the action is not going to be taken within your website. The action is going to be outside your website. So you don't need to create a page for that, right? Do you see why we have page photos? Because they are on in our website, right? So you don't need to create a page. As a matter of fact, you might decide not to even create page for this and this because except if you just want it to be like uh, explain something about registration here, explain something about it. So all this is like, this one, this two here, don't necessarily to even create page for it, by the way. So what we need to do now is create everything that we need from this place. So what we need, let's say if I want something, a custom link, I'll just click here now. I'll click custom link. I'll type the name of the text. What's the name of the text? Let's say, this you can see the way when I first started this, I put everything one like this. And I found out that the countries are too much. The UI will be so bad that it will be spoiling, spoiling, spoiling. So I now need to arrange it by continent. Right? At the point, I now need to arrange it by okay, West Africa, East Africa for easy access. So so that everything can collapse within, so that you don't need to be scrolling down and it's not going to be touching the bottom, bottom of your screen, right? Irrespective of any device. So now I will just do something like that, like saying, I want something to be under this guy now. So I can come in and say, no, America. Okay. So I don't know, the, I don't need a link for that because it's just like a name, it's not the main thing. So I don't need a link for that, basically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an anchor. Anchor means cash. Why are you putting an anchor? We are putting anchor there so that when somebody click it, it's not show the error 404, right? It's still going to remain where it is, right? Error 404 means the page does not exist. And actually, there's no page exists for North America. Did you get that? Aha. Uh -huh. So it's also automatically going to drop it down. But we want this to be under uh, registration. So I will move it to be under registration. Okay. As I move around registration, however, it's not going to be on the same line because it's not a main, it's not the primary domain. It's going to be a sub under registration, right? And I'll click. So a sub is like you, you can use your hand to drag it to the right, or you can also use this. Okay. Out in right. Okay, you see that. You see what I'm saying? I'm using my hand to move it. So I just move it. Just use the sub name. I update this guy now. If I refresh this guy now, it's going to give us a North America here. So the reason why we have hashtag here is which is basically professional is called anchor, not hashtag, anchor. So that when they click it to still remain on the same page, it's not going anywhere. But we don't put that now to go somewhere and show you a sort of for that. I don't know anything called this, so, so that's the essence of that anchor, anchor tag. Yeah. So now we want to add America and Canada there because those are the two countries under North America, right? So I will go to do that. So the same way, custom link. So anything that is going outside, please I go to do it. So I will say United States, United States, States. Uh, I don't have a link right now because I don't have access to a backend. So it's going to be the one to draw this one. So we go to get like direct registration link and put it here. For plenty of time, I don't want it to be expired. I'm just going to put an anchor tag there like this. So for the second one, Canada. Canada. I also put ash. But that's why the fact that I have this boat. It's any one that I create will come down, down. So it's very important that you move it up. Click. I want to be under this. So it's also going to be entered. So sub, sub. This should be under this. I'll click this guy again. America and US are going to be on the same spot. So it's not inside. So because this one is inside now, I'll just click here now. And I will say 
uh, out of US, so it should be on the same plane as US. Okay, and I can save this menu right now, like it's like by like saying updates, and I refresh this guy now. And when I put this now, so America from America, you have so that's exactly how I did this guy that you are seeing here. So that's the same way we are going to do for all this. So I'm not going to do that. The owner is going to do all this now. So that's how I do that. So the same thing is happening to the product now. So basically, what is left on this blog right now is uh it's just posting. Yeah, it's posting. And now do you want to post? She has some content ready. How do you want to post? So first of all, there are some pages that she will need to edit directly that doesn't require like like a blog post. So like pages like this home page now. Okay, she's going to remove all this and post like her own content here. If I she's going to remove this and post some content about you know, like generally, then all the other product blog posts will be here. These two are majorly external. She come to this page and put a contact there. She wants to like address and all that. She can put that. Just the same way I updated uh, our blog on Friday. So for example now, so since she's going to be doing some SEO now, so I can also uh, take the opportunity to tell you guys how to install used SEO. So I also going to do that on the um, plugins. Okay, plugins are some functions that we cannot just do here, but already been packaged that we can use to benefit the user. So I'll just go to plugins and I'll say new admin plugins. Somebody try to type something, so let me check it. Uh, how to put password. So it's also a plugin. So I'm also going to do that right now. Thank you for that question. So I saw that Ibrahim. So I can just type uh, just SEO. So that's the plugin that we'll be using for SEO. And, uh, so I'll type it now, search it. So this guy, as you can see, trusted by over 5 million plus installation. So there's so many SEO tools, but this guy is, I've used this guy too, but this guy is, yeah, that's what I use for you. So by the time I put it down, it simply means on any post or page, she will be able to actually use yours because it's automatically going to uh, be available now because we are just installing it. Uh, use SEO and app activated to then for somebody that asks for WhatsApp, there are several WhatsApp, several. So I'm just going to check for anything, click to WhatsApp. So that's what anything that comes to your mind, just like it, click to WhatsApp. So I'm going to see different plugins that allow click to WhatsApp. Okay, right now. So you can see them, you can see them, a lot of them click to WhatsApp. So let me just choose this guy. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to quickly just Copy a number. I'm available now. Mm, me, I'm not available. This is someone that signed up from US. Uh, I'm not available now. Uh, um, so I want to give us some training. Not available now. Two, three hours. They always start from prospects before they now become. <laughs> so most of them I don't change the name again. <laughs> she just bought that again to start plugging. Yes. So yes. 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 Yeah. Ah, yes now. The Nigerian US sign up from US. So here now, I click to WhatsApp. I told you international, that's where I want to target now. But this is how it's doing in Africa, right? So I click this, I activate this. Immediately you get here now, you see that WhatsApp. Uh, yes, let me just reload this guy so that I can put our phone number here. So you can see the use is already there. This is the WhatsApp. So on the WhatsApp here, I'm just going to, um, on the WhatsApp here now, I'm just going to put our phone number here. So it's number is three eight five zero two zero four one, right? Is that correct? Yes. So I just put the number here now, and I will save. Okay. And if you refresh that website now, what's that video? Yeah. 
don't show somewhere. Can you see now? That is your question, Ibrahim. Right? That's your question, right? So, and we have videos waiting for us. Anytime we want to start putting content, you know the way I taught you guys how to post for next week the other day. So the guy will be waiting for us, waiting for our content and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing that is left on this page right now is basically is basically to um to post contents. Yeah. And link all these to externally. So um okay, I'm just going to do something right now. Can you? I guess I'm coming. So, like I was saying, so what you just need to do is she will just log into her back office like this. Like that's where you monitor for people that are doing this, that's where they monitor um their stuff. Yeah. So that's where you connect some um uh, what's this? That's where you connect your global website to your blog. Okay, it's a way of connecting global website. So this is like global website is something like this. But you know your blog is standalone. You want to be using your blog to drive traffic, so that when traffic comes from your blog to the global websites, for example, now to global websites, just like here now, if somebody. Like the person I saw that I was chatting from, so like you're not even the best. So if somebody wants, like anyway, maybe somebody is in UK now, want to sign up and go to this page. I'm I will not be able to do the kind of SEO that I do on this blog on the global website because it's for everybody, it's not for only me. But I can do anything here, and that's why we are not using free free blog, so that we have uh opportunity to be able to touch anything. So if I click here now, it's going external. And this external now is going to the UK, UK blogs. So somebody clicks now, I'm in Nigeria, and it's also going to automatically going to take my, my affiliate ID. This is like my affiliate ID. So automatically going to, go to take that. And the person will register. So from the traffic to the main source, so that's what we just did. And that's exactly what I want to explain here, how you can link. Those things to form part of the internet strategy as well as well. So here now, uh things set something. Okay. So this is our store. So I'm just going to I'm just going to use it to create something now. So when she logs into the back and like this, uh Manage for our sites. You see all the countries that you can do the business. This is all the countries this time around. But I just want to do maybe I should do US alone. She will do the rest. So United States. So this is put down. So if somebody call me from US now or send me a WhatsApp, like, oh, I saw your number online. I would like to buy a product. I'll just send this link to the person to buy the products. Somebody for I already have that. So for example, now. The link for the product is here, the link for the So people still reach out. Just come to my house. So I want to be a promoter. This is it. So for example, now I need a promoter link right now. Just do this. And that is what I'm going to use on our website. And um, that's what I just want to use in that post right now. So I'm almost there. Yep. So we go back to our back office now. Where is it? Here. And who will tell me where I'm, we are going to? How do I get to menu now? Somebody should help me. How will I get to menu? You can type on the chat because you might not be able to omit yourself. How will I get to menu? From where to where? I'm waiting. How do I get to menu? I want to go back to the menu so that I can update this link with the right link instead of anchor tag. Thank you, our appearance. GPA is not setting, it's appearance. So I'll go to appearance, menu, okay? Appearance menu, then 
Where do I want to change? United States. Here. So I'll just put the straight. So this anchor tag. Now you have a baby. So this is anchor tag now. Right? I will not save this. I'll save that. So, so now if I refresh this, when anyone if I refresh this, when anyone now comes here now, so I want to and click this now. You click color, it's not going anywhere because but if I click here, it's not like I click it now. So take me back to US markets, US markets landing page. So US market landing page. But guess what? There's a so there's something. Can anybody spot the problem? Based on the last class, what is the problem with this type of way of thinking? Based on the last class experience, what is the problem with this way of thinking? I'm waiting. We click from our website and we are here. What is the problem with this type of thinking? We are not supposed to think to the new face. So what are we supposed to do? That's correct. What are we supposed to do? I'm waiting. Thank you, Christiana. What, can, what are we supposed to do? Yes, our link is correct. That's part of that we go to the new link. It will be over, it will override our website. That's the problem. So it's not supposed to override our, our website. So it will open in a new tab and our website still remain. Because most customers will not know where they are before. Right? So that's the problem with it. So how do we do that? You know how to do that in HTML. How do you do that in WordPress? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. How do we do that in WordPress? So what do you need to do? So if you get to this menu here, you know, we do like, it's also a page. You know, we do that. Uh, I told you yesterday that we have on HMSS so that you do target underscore blank. So how do you do target underscore blank here? So you are expecting to see something like that here. Like, ah, how will I do target underscore blank here? So if you didn't see it, what you need to do is pull up your screen option. Can you see screen option at the top here? Screen option, you pull it up. So when you do see, simply means that it has not been activated. So can you see, these are the things that have been checked that I want to do. So can you see link targets? It has not been activated, right? So just select it. And once I did it for once now, it's going to be active on every things that I want to be able to go forward. So that's the way to be able to do it. Um, but that's for blank. So if I click this guy now, can you see now? Open the tab now, show as an option. So maybe you enter the correct link like this, put you check that open in a new tab. If you don't check it, you're writing your website. I hope you guys are learning. So let's refresh this guy now. And uh after we refresh, you now click here now. So it's open a new tab. We are good. So that's how simple to do that. As far as I'm concerned. We are done with this block. What is left is I want to post so maybe I can still help our two, two categories. <laughs> Remember, I created a category yesterday. So if you want to post, you can get all your categories ready, all your blog categories ready. So, like this default one, you can rename it. So they're usually going to be a default, which is called unrecognized. And that is why you will have. Uh, that's why you always have something like this. This is a different one that you are seeing. This to test that it's working, basically. That's why you have that. But now, I'll come here. I can change this name. Maybe I'll say, okay, anything that I have to do about new life products, this is what I want to get going there. Anything that I want to build about new life training, I can create another one. Uh, I can start to put description. Can you see because we have installed USU? USU is waiting for us in case I want to do anything that line. But I'm not doing that at this time. Okay. So now I've created this. So I can create a new category by go to go to categories, then add a new one. So uh new life business. So I won't be talking about business too. So and um let's see new life training. So basically what I'm building with this is like every guys that are on this, they are digital guys because you have to learn. So a woman from US that I'll schedule a training for. So that's it. 
So I have a category now. So just same way that I posted for our blog with uh, I think Augustina content last week. So that's where you now started posting on your blog by going to posts. New post. Blog. So we have this now. So you can begin to post. You can begin to post here now, right? So when you post here, you do that same thing that I did the other day. That was on Friday. You can see that this guy is ready because we have installed views for your SEO thing. Guys, I'm done with this. It's just to post. So I can omit you all now, but if anybody is distracting, like there's no warning, I will just bounce you out straight. No warning. So I'm just trying to unmix everybody now because I want to know if any one of you have a question. So you can unmix yourself if you have a question. Do you see how simple it is to create a blog? That's it. Just put in content. That's what's left. And we did all this under maybe an hour plus. See up to that. It didn't start exactly one of the blog. So let's just say that. Let's even say two hours. And we are done. Just imagine you are now setting up blog for people, like it's a service. Imagine how many blogs you can set up in a day. Even if you are charging 50 50 Even if you are charging 50 50 k Guess what? I set up blog like this. It's not even blog, landing page. This year, each person won't want to earn k How much you can spend on it? 30 20 k That's the only thing that I take on. The remaining. Cannot pay for cannot pay for intellectual property. That's it. I set up blog for ten people. It's not even blog, like one page landing page. That's it. So I'm just trying to. It's not just about learning. As you are learning, start thinking of how do I convert this to money. So you can be number one programmer. You can be the best digital marketer. You can be the best anything. If you don't know how to go to the market. You will still suffer. You will be broke. Like Funka Kidele will say, Brooklyn. You will be broke like Brooklyn. It's not just about having the skills and knowledge. How do you apply it? The knowledge without application is a waste. How do you implement it? How do you convert it to money? Yeah. One of my students will say, It's not making money, it's not making sense. So you don't, you are not just learning. You are learning and you begin to think, ah, I can't do this for this, I can't do this for this. Now, imagine combining your blog skills with SEO. I'm going to set up a blog for you and I'm going to optimize it. If you know how many India guys that are bombarding me with, uh, let us optimize for you, let us do this for you. I don't know when Nigerian people start, because those guys, they learn in India, but they also learn how to go to the market and they will be sending you mail every day. This is my service. You are not calling them. I don't know if any one of you have experienced receiving email from Indian guys. Try to advertise their service for you. That they can help you to do this. Some will come. Ah, let me do your YouTube for you. Let me do this for you. Like that. So, I think we are done at this time. Yes, we are done like food. If you have any question, let me know. If you don't have any question, uh, okay, sir. Aside the um, new life, aside new life, you can do use this for you can use this to do any, other products. Any business, not okay, even products, any business or service. Anything. It's just like a case okay. for the now. Do you understand? You don't do things without purpose. So, one of the things that I do in most of my classes is you will not really understand this well. If I'm not using a product or a company or a services as a case study, just imagine I just say I have to set up a blog. And I set up a blog and I say, okay, next thing you create menu and I use mouth to see every other thing. Yeah. It will not make sense. So I always want like a real life practical because real life practical is what you can convert, with, what you can use to actually convert to money. How do we apply this to e-commerce business? Yeah, all you just have to do, you want to add, like, 
people will be adding things to cart to this. It's just a plug-in away. And once it's a plug-in, WooCommerce, and that's the end. So if I want to add like uh format stuff to this, I'm just going to plug in and I'll come here now. So inside the blog, you can have the shopping cart there, and you can also have the blog, just like uh this. Let me see if it does clear. UK dot generation.com. <clears throat> so this has a blog, and this also have this also an e-commerce. Guess what? It's WordPress. Do you understand? It's not a blog. And also an e-commerce. It's WordPress. So, sorry, not done. But I click shop now. This is WordPress, just in case you don't know. So all these things now, it's WooCommerce that is taking control of all these things. All these add to cards, do this. It's e-commerce that is taking control of all these things. This is what I just got to now. Not long. Okay? So that's so. Not just that, I just talk it with word of mouth. Let me uh, install WooCommerce. So just go to plugin, add new plugin. And after you add a new plugin, you can just say WooCommerce. Yeah, WooCommerce. And you see it's there. So that will take off. Can you see this guy? That's WooCommerce. And all, almost all payment system has a plugin for that so that you can receive payment with it. Just add WooCommerce. That's what I'm doing right now. So by what I just did now, this blog is ready to have e-commerce embedded inside it as well. Can that go be added to the blog? That's not like what? I need to understand what you mean by that blog. That's what does me. That's what is usually in the back end, basically. Anytime you head of dashboard, it's not really in front end. So we are on a dashboard right now, WordPress dashboard right now. So I don't, that question is not available. I need to log off. So yeah, we are done. I'm just asking the question. So you are free to go uh, snatty king game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Ibrahim. Yes, sir. My question. This was a WordPress. Yes. Like if you want to do your own personal website, is it the same process? Yes. Okay. So now if you want to put your own logo, like I'm seeing here, like uh, I'm seeing the logo of WordPress. That is Where anytime, can I anytime you want to customize your own theme, just go to appearance. Time will not permit me to do all this. You can actually decide to create a logo. So once you've got all the teams on that customize, you will see a logo section. See this side identity? You can begin to upload icons, logos, and all that on that here. Can I select logo? But I don't want this to have any logo. That's why I did not do that. So just design your logo and update it. But again, you are going to add size, dimension. So when you are designing your logo, I want to upload. Just let it to be 50 by 250 pixel. That's what you have it. Anything bigger than that, it's not going to be nice. So what do I use to replace logo? I think I have something like that. Uh, uh, from it. And um, it's not the So you see what I use to replace logo with this? Because logo is not actually important for me. It's in this particular blogs. I just, like I said, sales is a goal. So this place, logo is supposed to be here. But what did I replace it with? I just make a design and replace it with call to action. Get to me. So logo can be here, but I said no, I don't want to. Yeah. Ways to get to me. So you can have a logo there. Is that okay? What if this is not the WordPress website? Yeah, it's even more easier. If not the WordPress website, it's easier to control anything. Just like six of those box that I showed you guys the other time. It's not a WordPress website. Why WordPress? WordPress is so that for people that doesn't have any experience of coding, they should be able to do something. That's the essence of WordPress. And that's why they call content management system. Right? So before you can do that, it's not WordPress. So it simply means you must be good with like your HTML, CSS. If you are good with your HTML and you have problem with CSS, CSS you have problem with aligning how your logo be. Yeah. So that's that. GPA. Did you get that? 
any other question as I'm rounding up for today. And maybe like 4 p.m., people that signify interest on volunteering to update this other website, I will talk to you guys. D4. Yeah, I'm definitely going to talk to you guys. But I'm still here. To, I want everybody's name. Uh, today, did you volunteer? Yes, sir. Okay, so get everybody's name. So you can create a form or whatever, or sheet, whatever. You just call it everybody's name. Okay? okay and sir. organize that for me. Yeah. So that's from that one. So if you don't have, sir, okay, okay. If you don't have any question at this time, for it today, I'll see you guys when I see you. I don't know, but I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of the day. Ah. <laughs> Bye-bye. You guys, you leave the call now. <laughs> Christina, I'll see you. Uh, who is Norris? Okay. So you look like a stranger now. I saw Norris there. This is what is MVP. Chidima, Wendy, Rebecca, Adioye. You want to see? Destiny. Chisong. Bye-bye. I'll see you.